There was a hint of the French Revolution about this year's annual City Day celebrations in Dnipropetrovsk. The presence of a uniquely Ukrainian mock guillotine reflected the mood of the revolutionary zeal in Ukraine as the country comes to grips with the twin challenges of war in the east and a nationwide battle against corruption. Local anti-corruption activists unveiled a symbolic sculpture near to the waterside. They claim the guillotine was designed as a permanent warning to any local government officials thinking of abusing their power. We decided to install the metal sculpture in Dnipropetrovsk to remind each official here that we're responsible to the Ukrainian people and that lustration in Ukraine is inevitable. While some people called for political change, other activists held City Day events to raise funds for the Ukrainian army. It's very important from a cultural point of view because we're still learning about volunteerism. We're still learning to be more open with each other and to help each other. As the festivities in Dnipropetrovsk drew to a close over the weekend, reports of renewed fighting continue to flow further east in the Donbass region. Dnipropetrovsk has so far served as a bastion of Ukraine's resistance to Kremlin aggression, but residents here are all too well aware of how relatively close they are to the front lines. Yeah.